welcome to What's Next. We are a show dedicated to the raising of new conscious awareness and self-discovery. We follow the winds of changing inspiration with Mr. Jay Wilder, where we ask him each and every week, Jay, what's next? What's next? <laughs> what's next? Thank you, Marta. <laughs> um, today we have Stardove organization with us, and we're going to talk about Ascended Masters, and we're going to talk about Ashtar Command, wow. and all kinds of other things. Amazing. And, and the, well, we'll get into that, but, um, um, so Star Doves is, what exactly, it, I mean, I've, I've visited your website, and it's amazing, the, the amount of information on there, and just um, the type of information. Can you tell us a little bit about what Star Doves is? Well, I'd be very happy to. Star Doves is an organization on Earth which is considered to be a mission. It's not a business and it's not a um, NGO, it's a mission. It's an interplanetary mission. And it consists of two beings, Raja, myself, and Moira. Notice the Ra in the names. Mm -hmm. And the reason for that is because we embody an energy, energy that came from the time of during Egypt. That's why we continue to use the, the uh, word Ra in our names. Uh, the Star Dove started when we were in Palenque, in the forests of the Yucatan, Chiapas, and Oaxaca. And while we were there, we, we were visited by extraterrestrial beings that uh, revealed to us who, who, are, who we were in another lifetime. Mm -hmm. As we were actually w looking at the pyramid walls, there was a being called Ra that came out from the colors on the tomb of Monte Alban, tomb number seven in Oaxaca in 1980. 1980. Was this a physical experience or did you do it etherically? Or do you this know? was a physical experience. I was looking right at the tomb wall. I had gone down there on a vision quest and I was uh, tired of the American way of life with the Nexon and the McDonald's on every corner mm -hmm. and I needed to find meaning in my own life. And when Beautiful. I did, that's what I found. And I found this Egyptian being jumping out at me wow. in the tomb wall and it was speaking just to me. There was nobody else around at that time and it was saying, Ra, Ra, I am Ra. Later, I found a book that had the same type of channeling that was done for another group of people, saying the same thing, Ra, I am Ra. I, I did look through that and study that later and found that to be quite fascinating, too. This wasn't so sophisticated for me. It was a personal experience where this being was telling me, I, I was looking at it and I was saying, now, what has the Egyptians got to do with Mayans? This is an Egyptian figure. Yeah. Nobody came in this tomb and painted it on here. This is exactly the same. We're not taught that in the history books. Not nowadays we are. Back in, the, in 1980, we weren't. And so this being said, Ra, I am Ra. And I said, well, who is Ra? And, and they said, you are Ra. I said, oh, I am Ra. <laughs> so they were teaching me that I also am a Ra being and that I was on Earth to perform a mission and that my soul was from the, from the other planets. And so in time, they gave us the name Stardubs. A few years later, or... Actually, I think within that same year, I met a shamanist down there in Mexico who told me that I was going to go back up to America and meet the lady of my dreams. And I said, no, I don't think so. I've already <laughs> had several ladies of my dreams and been through the marriages and the houses and all the fancy yeah, yeah. things, and I didn't really want that either. I was looking for meaning to life, and they said, oh, no, no. This woman is going to be your soulmate, your twin flame, the other half oh of who God. you are. And together, How you're fortunate. Gonna... I think we're all looking for that. Yes. I, I mean, mean, yes. I am. Yes. Well, I wasn't looking for it. <laughs> oh, you were looking for it. And that's the secret <laughs> yeah. a lot of times. Yeah. Not always, yeah. but when, yeah, we least, when we least expect it, oh, that yeah. comes to us. And they yeah. told me that I would be joined by this woman and we would perform this mission. I said, oh, we, maybe we'll start a bookstore and sell nice books on the top. Oh, no, this is going to be far grander than a bookstore. Wow. It's going to be far grander than a commercial experience. You're going to be traveling the world and doing the work a great mission for humanity. And I thought, well, that sounds really way out there. And, uh, but she was right. And I did meet this woman, and that's Moira. And where did you meet? We met, Moira was um, the president of the Theosophical Society in Oakland, California. Mm -hmm. And um, we, ever since day one in 1984, when we were met, we haven't been separated. That's amazing. I was a professor and guidance counselor in the University of the City of Manila. 
And when we were married, um, my guardian angel said, this wedding is being done in commemoration of a work that must be done for humanity. Mm. Wow. wow, wow. And so you got the same message from the same uh, group? She mm. actually got a, uh, a Ye Ching reading to her friend who was a Chinese lady be just before she met me. She got a Ye Ching reading and the, the reading was done with sticks and it, it was the authentic ancient Chinese way and they told her, the number was, is never too late for the flower to bloom. <laughs> Again. Again. <laughs> Again. And so to her, that meant, that meant... That meant that I would meet somebody. And when we met, we just looked at each other. <laughs> and I saw his blue eyes. <laughs> so when, when he was, I was a professor, I was a, in, in, a, in a room where we had people who wanted to be together. She was members. the president of the Theosophical Society, and she was and doing a, the induction ceremony, and I had signed up to go there. And when he came into the door, and he opened the door and said, good morning, and I saw his blue eyes, and I said, oh my God. There he is. <laughs> <laughs> so there he is. <laughs> I, I was president, vice president, secretary, treasurer, and so when he came in, and he, he he just stood up in front of me, and and I said, and I didn't say anything. But my my guardian angel said, "He's here now. You will be together." Ah, oh, that is wow. so and magical. <laughs> that is beautiful. And she had already been married, and her her husband deceased, and she had three grown children, nearly my age, which are not, now my children. And this is my son. He's only, I'm only one year older than him. <laughs> but that's her son. And he wow. was also married and had children. And his wife also died. And his children went off to college. And so now he's joined us. And he's now our, our chef at wow. our lodge, at Stardust mm -hmm. Smoky Mountain Light Lodge. Mm. Yes, I uh, do the vegetarian cooking for the guests and uh, serve them whatever they need, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Wonderful. And also arrange the, uh, the beddings you know, for the guests. Super so nice. My Great. Uh, so you have a lodge and everything. I mean, well, first of all, my first question was you, you went, um, you, you're, you're coming out of a normal society life, life, but you were looking for more meaning to life, looking for um, something larger that you felt inside. And, and through that quest, um, you came to to the messages, and now you have um, founded something that houses that mission. And am I right so far? Yes. <laughs> what you said reminded me of two things that I, 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 I was. Uh, Jesus said, "Be in the world, but not of it." So we're not of it. It's not in the regular, and that's exactly what I felt when you said that. And the other one is, seek ye first the kingdom of heaven, and all else will be added unto you. Oh, man. And so that's what we did, is we sought first the divine, the divinity, not the money, not the business, not, nothing else. We gave up everything, walked down in the forest with nothing on our back but a backpack, and just determined to find the truth of living. And if that meant no more money, no more cars, no more bank accounts, it didn't matter because we had those and those were meaningless without true meaning to life. Oh my gosh, mm -hmm. that's where mm -hmm. I am right now in my life. And, but it takes a lot of trust to do that. 